welcome to this presentation on lin communication protocol today i'm going to address some of the important uh, interview questions on lin communication protocol so basically lin stands for local interconnect network how many number of lines lin bus uses lin basically uses just one wire it is also called as one wire communication protocol. So here you can see the LIN uh, bus architecture where you have a single master and multiple slaves connected for the single wire. Okay. So what is the speed of LIN? LIN basically operates at a, a max bit rate of 20 kbps, unlike CAN, which is 1 mbps. What kind of triggering technique LIN uses? LIN basically uses a time triggering technique. So that's the reason it's called as a, a time trigger communication protocol. So here master decides who has to send what data at what point of time. So slot is allocated for a particular node. So during that slot, a node has to send the data or can receive a data. So that is the reason it's called as a time trigger communication protocol. What kind of communication architecture is LIN bus? So LIN is basically a single master multiple slaves. Unlike in CAN where you have multiple masters. So when there are multiple masters, then there is a bus conflict. Who has to send the data? Since it's a single master, which has a complete control over the bus so master will decide who has to send the data at what point of time and who has to receive the data how bus conflict is resolved in lin okay what do you think how bus conflict is resolved in lin as i mentioned earlier there is only one master and multiple slaves so there is no bus conflict here so master knows who has to send the data and master knows who has to receive the data. So there is no question of bus conflict in LIN. So LIN doesn't have any bus conflict as master decides who has to transmit or receive the data. How LIN provides a data security? So LIN provides a data security at uh, multiple locations. So it uses uh, two parity bits at the identifier and a checksum byte after the data transmission. So at these two levels, uh, LIN provides a data security. What are the voltage levels on LIN bus? The voltage levels on the LIN bus are quite different from the voltage levels uh, on the CAN bus. So here, it also depends on the receiver and the transmitter side. So the LIN receiver interprets the logic as recessive logic if the voltage on the bus is above the 60% of the UBAT. UBAT means it is a, a battery voltage which is roughly about 14 volts. So if the voltage on the bus is above 60% of the UBAT, the battery voltage, then it is, it is interpreted as a recessive logic. If it falls below 40% of the UPAC, then it is in, then the receiver interprets it as a dominant logic. So dominant means it's zero, recessive means it's one. So at the sender, or the lin sender transmit 80% above the UPAC voltage for a recessive logic and transmits 20% below the UPAT for a dominant logic. So these are the two different uh, uh, voltage levels at the receiver side as well as at the transmitter side. What are the different types of frames in LIN? There are uh, four different types of frames in LIN. Unconditional frame, event triggered frame, sporadic frame and diagnostic frame. So I am going to talk more about these frames in the upcoming video where so here i'm trying to address only the interview questions 
So what are the applications of lin? So lin is basically used for a low cost non safety critical applications. Basically you can consider most of the lin applications are related to body control domain. Okay, like mirror control, door control, wiper control. So there are a number of applications uh, where lin is being used. Does lin uses differential voltage? So what do you think? The differential voltage comes into picture when there are multiple wires. But lin basically uses just one wire. So there is no question of uh, differential voltage in lin. What is a bus terminating register? So like can like uh, can uses uh, 120 ohm register to terminate the bus. Here also lin uses uh, a 30 kilo ohm register. Okay, it is basically a pull up register at the slave and also one kilo ohm register at the master side. Which protocol controller lin uses? Lin doesn't have any protocol controller separately. So lin protocol can be implemented in any microcontroller which has got an SCI interface. Okay, basically it uses a UART board. So it is basically you can imp you can implement lin as a software. You don't need any extra controller. So there is no protocol controller for lin. It's all software controlled. It just uses SCI interface. How many nodes does lin bus has got? So as per the specification, uh, you can have maximum of 16 nodes in the lin communication network. So why it is 16? Because see, lin uses a protected identifier where it uses uh, four bits to indicate uh, the content of the message and the details about the sender and the receiver. So that means there is a limitation on the number of nodes you connect. So 4 bits means maximum you can have 16 different combinations. So that is the reason. So maximum you can have 16 nodes in the network. Okay, what are the advantages of uh, LIN over CAN? Okay, there are a few advantages of uh, LIN. Some drawbacks of uh, CAN can be uh, overcome by LIN like uh, guaranteed latency so one example i can give you if, if you have a can network where your higher priority messages are in queue and if uh, lower messages uh, lower priority messages come into picture then it will never be transmitted so always the priority is given for the higher priority messages so lower priority messages always have to wait so this case is not there with respect to lin because uh, there is a guaranteed latency there is a slot given for a particular node during that slot they can transmit the data so it is just uses it just uses one wire so whereas can uses two wires so no separate uh, protocol controller is required uh, in lin whereas in can you need a separate communication protocol controller so obviously so lin has got uh, advantage of this low cost so it is less complex no arbitration process is required to uh, resolve the bus conflict so there is no question of bus conflict so there is no question of uh, arbitration process here okay are there any limitations in lin definitely there are some limitations so, so lin as uh, lin uses just one wire so to maintain the radiated electrical emissions within the limits. So the power rate is limited to only 20 kbps. Another restriction is the maximum number of nodes you can connect is only 16. So since there is a single master which takes care of the bus, if there is some problem with the master, then whole of the communication networks goes down. There are, uh, so that is the reason it is not suitable for uh, safety critical applications. Thank you so much uh, for watching this video. It's definitely helpful for you.